Hello everybody, my name is Shigun Reiki. I uh, just want to quickly say thank you to everybody who responded to my last video review. Um, my last review was for the Sansa SanDisk E260 MP3 player. I got a lot of views and over 100 comments, so thanks for that. Anywhere.fm is actually, like I said, looks and feels like a uh, desktop application. When you log into the site, it fires up uh, based on a Flash engine and uh, has uh, all the functionality that you'd expect. Um, it even uh, uh, resizes windows and stuff like that the same way that you'd expect from a desktop application, but you are in fact on the web on a website. Really cool feature. The uh, player actually features a live, instantaneous playing of your music. It's uh, pretty darn quick. It actually has to buffer, but not for very long. If you have a broadband connection, you shouldn't have any trouble playing your music in real time. Here's a uh, demo right now. I'm going to switch to Guster, uh, the airport song, double click, and there it goes. There's the song. Again, I'll do it again now with my Linkin Park playlist, which is on the left hand side. And then go down, find my favorite song off of that album, what I've done, double clicked, and playing. So you can see you can actually uh, load your library on there and play almost instantaneously. The volume's not going to work in this case because of the way I recorded it. You can actually skip forward as well, as you can see. Uh, here's another skip forward in real time again because the song's already buffered. On the left side of the windows, you can actually see your playlist. Uh, when you when you go to create your playlist, um, they show up on your left side, and you can actually drag and drop. I'll show that in a little bit. Uh, your songs into your playlist. I'll go back to my music, and now I can search for music. You can actually search for through your entire library. Uh, my current library, 718 songs. I'm going to search for Lincoln Park again. Uh, for a, and this will actually show me all my Linkin Park albums which I've uploaded and it's doing it in real time that's a pretty nice feature let me search again this time for Dido D-I-D-O there's all my Dido music Eminem let's search for Eminem there's all my Eminem music Renegade Jay-Z featuring Eminem so you can see that's awesome the search is awesome it's in real time it's actually probably faster than uh, than your guys' computers for uh, iTunes and Windows Media Player, actually. Now going down the left side, you'll actually see there's a free music tab. The uh, creators of the website have actually added uh, GarageBand Music, which is an online website for independent artists who are trying to get recognized. So that music is going to be there. About 100 songs are preloaded. Below the playlist window is the visualizer window, and it's actually a, a real live uh, instantaneous visualizer. It's accurate. Um, below, well, and then one of the things you can do is you can actually change some of the settings by just clicking in the window. So it's, there's three different visualizers and then three different colors for each. So right now there's about nine patterns. Below that is the add playlist, toggle visualizer mode, which I'll show you, preferences, and toggle play mode. Toggle play mode is used for sh moving between shuffle and play straight through, uh, kind of the way you'd see on your MP3 players. Now I'll go to toggle visualizer mode. What this does is it changes the window size, or the window of the visualizer. Now again, I'm just clicking on the visualizer to change patterns. And now when I go back to the visualizer button, it actually, the window's gone. So now I'll click on visualizer again to get the mini window. And if I was to click it again, it'd go back to the large window. Now I've got it on a setting I like. Alright, now we're adding a playlist. I want to show you a test playlist. I'll show you this functionality. Again, it's really easy to use. It's really no different than the way I would do it um, on my desktop in Windows Media Player. Now I'm going to go to my music, my entire library, go back to the test playlist, and just highlight which songs I want. I'm holding down control. One, two, three, four, drag, and drop. Now I can just click on the playlist and my songs are in there. So creating, creating new playlists is pretty much instantaneous. It's really easy to do. And there I go. I'm playing the songs already. Next thing I want to show you is preferences. The button down there. Preferences actually changes the player's uh, kind of color preferences right now. Um, I want to change from green, which I actually hate, to blue. Now I'm going to change my theme color to blue. My background I'll make dark, so there's a dark option, which is black. And then backdrop image I'll change to the default, which is a nice picture of the earth in the background. Now I'll click close, and again, it's done it in real time. You could actually sh see it shifting in the background.
Now, moving on, I'm just going to really quickly click the, the shuffle mode or randomizer mode. So now, whenever I hit skip forward in my library, it's going to be randomized. On the bottom right side, you have upload, my profile, and pop out. Upload allows you to upload more songs to your system. My profile edits your profile, and pop out will actually pop out the, the player in a new window. Let's click on profile. You can see there's an option to upload your photo. Uh, you'll you'll see in a minute why why that's useful. And then you can put in your name. The name is helpful for helping people identify you in the community. When people are looking for you, you want to at least have some information in there. For uploading music, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, when you go to upload songs, they'll show up in your library window under My Music. So I'm going to click Upload, and it's already in one of my folders. I'm going to click on Braveheart Soundtrack Amazing Grace Bagpipes. Uh, this is a folder of bag bagpipe mu music, actually. When I click Go, it's uh, you can see it pops out a new window at the bottom of the page with the song. You can actually select over 100 songs to upload at one time. Um, I've, I'm hearing that you can actually select over 400, but I've only gotten about 200. Moving forward, you can see the song has been uploading. 91% done. At the top, there's actually the iTunes uploader. Download the iTunes uploader to easily upload your iTunes library. iTunes up uploader is a, a sync tool that you can actually plug into your iTunes if you use iTunes. and It'll automatically upload your songs and, and the playlist as well. Down at the bottom of the, the playlist, you'll see Friend Radio. Uh, friend Radio is essentially where my, where my friends show up after I've added them as friends. What I'm doing now is browsing t through the community, looking for, let's say, newest members. Here's a list of the newest members. Browsing community is, again, on the left side, all you have to do is click on that part of the playlist. Now I'm sorting by most listeners. So now the sorting on the right panel is by the most popular people, essentially, because they have the most people listed as friends or listeners. You can see that the name shows up of the person, the number of songs in their playlist, the number of songs they have, their music compatibility with me, which in Suchin's case is 100%, um, their playlists, which actually are radio stations, which is a very cool feature. On below playlists is on the left side, your common albums that you have in common with the person, uh, common artists that you have in common with the person, out of, essentially out of your top tens. Um, and then I'm going to add Sushin as a friend. The reason, by the way, Sushin is a 100% match for me is because he's my brother and we have the same musical taste. So now that I've added Sushin as a friend, you can see under Friend Radio, Sushin is there. I've just added him to my Friend Radio. So now he's going to be easier to find and I can actually go in. You can see right now I'm actually paused on YouTube. I'm going to go in and click on his acapella playlist. And now I've double clicked it and it's playing as a radio station. So now his acapella, acapella playlist is going to play as a radio station for me. So it's a great way to share music with your friends. It's a great way to create mixtapes or playlists for your friends to listen to. Here's my favorite, Linkin Park. As you can see, it keeps on coming up. So I've just played it, the Linkin Park um, playlist, which for him is probably all four albums that are out. There's my other friends, M. Heiser, Ada. Again, with them, it's the same thing, radio stations. For a browsing community, community, if you know who you want to find, just go to back to browse community and type in the search bar. I'll type in Rick. So my friend Rick's there. Uh, I'm going to double click on his profile. It'll open it up and then you can see there's an option at the top right to add as friend. Yep, that's Rick. And you can see I've got all his radio stations or playlists there as well. And I can add him as a friend as well. So that's it, really. Uh, that's kind of the end of the demo. Uh, I wanted to just tell you that this is a great piece of software. It's uh, really easy to use. I'm using it at work almost every day. I'm sure my boss probably doesn't want to hear that, but it, it's so easy to use. It's really nice having my entire library online and available. Um, currently, I've got 700 songs. I've still got over 1,000 songs to upload, but uh, it's so much easier to have this than my MP3 player. So that's it. Thank you very much for viewing the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email.